Oh dear, it really is a grey day today, so I won't be making much solar energy today, and that was confirmed, look, I'm barely getting 15 volts coming in and 150 milliamps um, being generated. How poor. But it does give me an opportunity to do a little video on my grid tie, automatic grid tie switch, uh, which has been working really well. Um, it's been running now for about three weeks and I've tried a few different voltages, um, but I've settled on 13.8 volts for my battery to get up to float voltage before switching to grid tie mode. And I'm feeding energy into the grid. I have managed uh, in the last week a whole kilowatt hour. It's not been the best week weather-wise. Uh, we're mid-September. You know, it's it's not peak hours anymore, sadly. One thing I have noticed, though, on the warmer days when this is in grid time mode, is it gets really warm does the Arduino Nano. Now, I'm putting that down to the voltage regulator on the back of it, because the power is coming in on the raw pin here, the VIN voltage in pin, which goes through the 5 volt regulator. Now, of course, the voltage that's coming in um, is anything between 11.8 to 13.8. And it suggested that these are better at 12 volts or below, but it does say up to 20. But it's getting quite warm, so I'm putting that down to higher voltage than ideal situation. And the fact that these relays, when they're active and therefore feeding the grid, must pull quite a bit of power from that regulator. So... Um, looking at the stats of that regulator, I think perhaps I'm right with pulling that screen, putting that screen on it, and the relays. Um, I think I'm pulling too much. Now you can put external five volts on here I'm using these extra pins, um, and I haven't done that yet because that increases the wiring, increases the complication. So I was searching around on eBay for something else I could use and um, I found something of interest and uh, it's taken a couple of weeks to get it from China but I've, but I've got it now and now I need to do some testing to see if it can do what I need it to do. So there we are, uh, 66 milliamps with one relay, 118, both of them on at the same time. I think that's a little bit more than I'd have hoped for. So with the fact that the relays make my Arduino get rather warm, what I'm looking at now is some MOSFETs. So this is a MOSFET board. Um, now my understanding is these are N-channel MOSFET, which means they switch in the negative side. Um, these are an IRF540N. Um, and I've already modified this board. I've put these heat sinks on, on the two MOSFETs that I'm using, because my understanding is um, they're going to get warm, possibly with the amount of current I'm putting through them, because um, it could be 8 or 9, 9, nine amps plus, potentially. Um, so I've put some extra heat sinks on them, try and keep them cool. So to test this before I connect it to all my solar power, I have this boost converter, this digital boost converter that does constant current and constant voltage. That's connected through to that and then that connects to these two cob LEDs, that's actually a 5 watt and a 7 watt. Um, connected to this Arduino Nano on this handy breakout board. So I've set this to 20 volts 
200 milliamps, which is enough to drive both these LEDs on their own and uh, without them being at full brightness. On the Nano, I've got a very simple sketch. Let me show you. It just toggles each one individually with half a second gap and then two seconds after that. So if that's set to 200 milliamps, 20 volts, I turn that off. There we go. LED 1, LED 2. And the LEDs are indicating on there as well. So that's working perfectly. Turn it off. But my panels work at about 17.5 volts. So if I bring that down. Oops. There we go, that'll do. Hmm. I'm guessing there isn't enough. There you go, it's very dim that one. Brought it down to a very low level, but it is working. No clicks from any relays. And presumably, the nano staying very cool because these hardly any current whatsoever is my understanding so now to try those in the shed okay so I've now wired in the MOSFET board with my additional heat sinking um, I haven't yet turned on my Arduino I've changed the Arduino code because the relays are active low and this is active high so let's plug in the battery and see what happens okay first things first nothing went bang it says it's charging which means I've plugged in the wrong sensor cable there because actually that is going to grid tie which isn't actually on there we go that's working 17 and a half volts leading the grid with a massive 12 watts so let me just swap those cables around so this is a bit bizarre. It's gone into automatic grid tie mode, as you can see from the indicator LED. That's ticking away, and then putting a whole four watts into my grid. But also, my charge controller is saying it's getting 130 milliamps. Something's not quite right in my code. Oh, I see. I've commented out this previous state variable here. Uh, the idea here is that it stops the switch from switching between the two modes um, on the fringe of a voltage. Um, so, hopefully, by putting that back in, we can fix that issue. Something is not happy, is it? So I'll put that back to automatic mode. Charging seems absolutely fine. No problem at all. Grid tie. Now it's not doing it. I 
think I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm a little bit worried. Can you hear that and see that? I'm getting some flickering between the two outputs. I don't really know why. Let me just force that over to charging. And then it stops. On grid tie. I'm getting that issue. I need to investigate that a bit further. So as you can see I've gone back to the relay for now. Um, if the Arduino can't cope and it blows up, well they're only £1.70 from China so we can uh, soon replace that. Um, you can power these relay boards from a separate 5 volt uh, power supply so if it does become a problem I might do that instead. Um, I'm not throwing the MOSFET board away or anything, I'll see if I can get it working properly um, later on down the line. But uh, thanks for watching, please remember to thumbs up, subscribe, comment and uh, we'll see you again soon.